Hi, this is Zing. Today, I would like to share how to create a stopwatch in PowerPoint. First, we go to Developer tab. Then we look for Visual Basic. We insert a user form. With this user form, we can create a stopwatch of the view that we like. We can use label or text box to represent the time. So we will use labor here. Then we adjust according to the size that we like. So we can change the caption to the starting time, which is start from time zero. Then we adjust or change the Font and front size accordingly to the desired size and mode. Then we can do some adjustment. If let's say we want the text to align at the center, and we adjust the size of the label. After that, what we need here is we need three command button. So I will create on the right side of this clock okay before that we can also design this label so let's say you want to change the back color we can click here and then change to the color that we like for example white then the special effect to look like a cl clock then i will choose for the sunken then now we can create three command buttons. So for the first one, this will help me to start the time. So we can change to green color to indicate a start. Then the caption, we change to start. Of course, same, we can change the font and font size. So we have, we just have to change to the desired size that we like. If I say we lazy to create one by one, we can make copy and paste. We just have to click the, press the control button, then use the mouse and drag. So we just change accordingly. So this one we can change to pause. So we will change it to right in color to indicate a pause. Then another one for reset. Just to reset the time to zero whenever necessary. So we can change to the color that we want. If let's say we want to, we want the clock to place at the middle, then we can adjust accordingly. Okay. Once the user phone is already ready, so what we have to do, we just have to double click the button to insert the code. So when we insert the code, we have to bear in mind that this stopwatch should be ongoing until it is being interrupted. So we need a dummy here. So private A as boolean. So we will use this dummy to interrupt the stopwatch. So we will make sure that the stopwatch is ongoing once it is is being started so we'll we'll do while a means that while a is true then we will start equal to true so what we have to do here is change the time of the labor so since it's on the user form one on the labor one we use the caption to capture the time.
so equal to we use the date add function the interval should be in second for every second we change the time then the original time is the time that's stated on the caption remember to format according to our minute and second otherwise the time will show as 12 a.m. and so on is that 12 and 1 second a.m. then 12 and 2 seconds and so on to make sure the counting process is correct we have to introduce a pause however in powerpoint we are not able to make use of the application dot wait function so what we have to do here is by using the timer function so how long should we wait we want to wait for one second so this wait can be any dummy so we just start equal to the timer then while the timer is less than the start plus the wait then we have to give a pause so we do events start with while we end with while so while end then remember to loop this so we have loop okay the start button is already completed we back to the user form and look for the pause button so for the pause we just have to set a to false so that the stopwatch is interrupted then done already we back to the reset so to reset the button i will also set a to false so that is interrupted then only i will reset the time so we just copy and then put here equal to zero so we reset okay everything is already done so let's see the result so we click on the user form then we click on the run button so if let's say before run if let's say we want to change the caption of the user form we can change it under we can click the user form and change under the caption so for example we change to stop watch okay then now let's run so the stop one is already prompt up the user form is already prompt up so what we have to do we just start so the time is counting so if let's say you want to pause then we click on the pause button so stop already then we start we'll continue then pause we'll stop and reset then turn back to zero so if let's say we want to have a button to call there call this we can go to the developer tab look for command button so for example then i put here of course we can decorate this command button according to the appearance or the view that we like so we look for the properties then we can change the caption maybe this will call the stop watch okay then change to the color that we like okay so as we can see when we click actually nothing happened but before that we have to make sure that when we click the user form will be prompt here so we have to double click and then we write a code to call the user form so we write user form one dot show okay it's already done then now let's click as we can see nothing happened because this is in active mode so if let's say we want to in play mode then we have to go to slideshow so as we can see now we can click the button so the stopwatch is already prompt here then we click on start so the time is 
ongoing is being started here then we pause stop continue pause then we reset okay that's all for today thanks for watching have a like this see you